Hi everyone and thank you so much for watching my channel The Witty Turtle. In the last class we had completed illustration number 16 of simulation and in this class we will start with illustration number 17. So the question says a bookstore wishes to carry Ramayana in stock. Demand is probabilistic and replenishment of stock takes two days. Replenishment मतलब क्या है? Stock को fulfill करना. You have to refill the stock again. That takes two days. Right? For example, if an order is placed on 1st March, then it will be delivered at the end of the day on 3rd March. Right? So, you have a, a like a lag time of 2 days. The probabilities of demand are given below. So, when your demand is 0, the probability of getting a demand 0 is 0 0.05. The probability of getting a demand of one uh, Ramayana book per day is 0 0.1 and likewise given for 2, 3 and 4. Each time an order is placed, the store incurs an ordering cost of rupees 10 per order. Ordering cost kitna hai hai? Rupees 10 per order. The store also incurs a carrying cost of 0 0.5 per book per day. Right? So, you already know what is the meaning of carrying cost. This is also known as your inventory cost. So, carrying cost is 0 0.5 per book per day. The inventory carrying cost is calculated on the basis of stock at the end of each day. Right? So, aapka jo inventory carrying cost hai, that is calculated on what basis? How much stock do you have at the end of every day? Right? The manager of the bookstore wishes to compare two options for his inventory decision. The first option is order 5 books when the inventory at the beginning of the day plus order outstanding is less than 8 books. So it is saying you have uh, like the manager can order 5 books where in that case only where your opening stock plus um, your order outstanding is less than 8. Opening stock matlab kya? Us din ka opening stock kitna hai? Plus uh, how much your how much of your order is outstanding how much of your order is uh, like remaining uh, to uh, delivered right that is uh, that should be less than 8 and the second option is you have to order 8 books when the inventory at the beginning of the day plus order outstanding is less than 8 so the condition is opening stock plus order outstanding should be less than 8 and uh, the first option says in this case should you order 5 books or you should order 8 books that you have to calculate, right? Currently, like uh, this is the beginning of the first day, the store has a stock of 8 books. Stock of 8 books. So, ye, uh, first day ke beginning mein stock hai aapka 8 books. So, that means this is your opening stock. Plus, 6 books ordered 2 days ago and expected to arrive next day. So, this is what? This is your order outstanding. Right, order outstanding is how much? 6. So, um, using Monte Carlo simulation for 10 cycles, recommend which option the manager should choose. And uh, the two digit random numbers are given below. So, here the random numbers are given to you. And you have to calculate like um, which option the manager should choose. So, whenever you uh, you you get a question like this where the there is a kind of business where the manager has to choose between two options. So, here what, what do you need to calculate? You need to compare the total cost between these two. Right? The total cost between these two options. Or jiska total cost kam hoga, uh, whoever uh, has the like whichever option has lesser total cost. You have to choose that particular option, right? So uh, let's start with the solution. In this solution, we have to do what we have to do. First, we have to make our probability distribution table. What will happen in the probability distribution table? Mein kya ho See, your demand is how much? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Probabilities are given. You can calculate cumulative probability. First, what will happen? Second, what will happen? This plus this, 0.15. This plus this, 0.45. This plus this, 0 0.9. This plus this, that will be your 1. Right? And here you need to calculate random number range. So, this will be 0, 0 to 0, 4. Then 0, 5 to 14. Then you have from 15 to 44. Then you have um, 45 to 89. Then you have 90 to 99. Obviously, 
you got your random number range in the next uh, like in the next uh, step you need to evaluate option number 1 so in the first option what is it saying you have to calculate the total cost obviously so in the in the in the first option you have been given 10 random numbers and you need to calculate their demand so random number 89 this is falling in which range obviously in this range so here your demand is what your demand is three books so you are getting a demand of three books and uh, here in the beginning of the first day look at the question and tell me what is the opening stock uh, given in the question it is given as eight right eight and uh, order uh, ordered quantity receipt wo kitna hai? nothing because uh, those six books which are ordered two days ago they are not going to arrive this day right they are going to arrive the next day Yaha par wo arrive hone wale hai six books right so here your closing stock will be how much you have an opening stock of eight and you have a demand for the day three so closing stock kitna ho jayega eight minus three that is five obviously now the next column stands for quantity for which order placed to aaj ke din, din mein to koi order place nahi hua hai right coming to the next random number that is 34 34 where, where does it fall in this category so you have a demand of two books and here your opening stock is how much if this is the closing stock of the first day then this will be the opening stock of the second day right and you have ordered a quantity of six books which will be received today so at the end of the day what how much is your closing stock uh, your closing stock will be kitna ho jayega initially you had five then uh, there was a demand of two so five minus two plus six how much will be that nine your closing stock will be nine right quantity for which order placed is zero okay now this closing stock will be the opening stock of the next day so here the random number is 70 so 70 falls here so your demand will be again 3 right 3 9 and ordered uh, quantity receipt kitna hai is din ke liye kuch bhi nahi hai right so your closing stock will be how much 9 minus 3 that will be 6 right now uh, quantity for which order placed quantity for which order placed is din bhi koi order place nahi kiya gaya hai right so this will be again nil or you can write it as zero now uh, the closing stock for this uh, for third day was six so it will be the opening stock of fourth day and here the 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 random number is 63 so your demand will be how much your demand falls somewhere between here so your demand will be three books so uh, ordered quantity receipt kitna ho jayega yahan par yahan par bhi aapka nil hi hai hai na or ye kitna ho jayega closing stock aapka closing stock will be your 6 uh, minus 3 that is your 3 only right okay in the first option uh, now see uh, what is it saying opening stock plus order outstanding should be less than 8 opening stock plus order outstanding should be less than 8 so in sare cases mein kya wo less than 8 ho raha tha nahi ho raha tha opening in do columns ko hame add karna hai right this column plus this column should be less than 8 so in this case it is not less than 8 in this case it is definitely not less than 8 in this case also it is not less than 8 in this case also it is not uh, sorry in this case it is what it is less than 8 so it is saying that whenever this is less than 8 then you have to order 5 books so here you have to place an order of five books right you have to place an order of five books now uh, this was the closing stock of fourth day which will be the opening stock of fifth day and this 61 falls here so your demand will be again three uh, ordered quantity receipt this is again nil right and uh, here your closing stock is how much you had an opening stock of three books and you have a, you had a demand of three so your closing stock will be zero right closing stock will be zero now this uh, this will again be nil because koi order humne place nahi kara hai yahan par because ye to book deliver hua hi nahi hai abhi tak so this book will be delivered on which date 
इट इज सेइंग दैट दो दिन लग ही जाता है उसको डिलीवर uh, होने में राइट right? अगर फर्स्ट मार्च को uh, आप क्वेश्चन में देखो दो लुक एट द फर्स्ट पैरा ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इट इज सेइंग दैट इफ एन ऑर्डर इज प्लेस्ड ऑन फर्स्ट मार्च देन इट विल बी डिलीवर्ड एट द एंड ऑफ थर्ड मार्च सो इफ द ऑर्डर इज प्लेस्ड ऑन फोर्थ डे देन इट विल बी डिलीवर्ड ऑन सिक्स डे राइट सो ये जो फाइव है इट इज बींग डिलीवर्ड ऑन सिक्स डे राइट यहां पर आपका क्लोजिंग स्टॉक जीरो है सो हियर योर ओपनिंग स्टॉक विल बी जीरो राइट एंड अगेन हियर दिस फॉल्स इन द दिस रेंज लाइक फोर्टी फाइव टू एटी नाइन सो द डिमांड विल बी अगेन थ्री राइट एंड ये क्या हो जाएगा आपका यहां पर डिमांड इज थ्री एंड ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी रिसीट इज फाइव सो इट विल बी फाइव माइनस थ्री योर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल बी फाइव माइनस थ्री दैट विल बी टू राइट नाउ लुक एट दिस ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी रिसीट इज हाउ मच जीरो प्लस फाइव दैट इज फाइव एंड दिस फाइव इज ऑब्वियसली लेस देन एट सो अगेन यू हैव टू प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर फाइव बुक्स राइट प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर फाइव बुक्स सो यहां पर आपने ऑर्डर प्लेस कर लिया एंड ये आपका कब डिलीवर होगा आके ये आपका डिलीवर होगा इस डेट पे दो दिन के बाद राइट नाउ यू हैड अ क्लोजिंग स्टॉक ऑफ टू विच विल बी द ओपनिंग स्टॉक हेयर एंड द रैंडम नंबर इज थर्टी नाइन सो थर्टी नाइन फॉल्स इन विच रेंज इन दिस रेंज सो यू हैव अ डिमांड ऑफ टू बुक्स ओनली टू बुक्स एंड ऑर्डर क्वांटिटी रिसीट विल बी हाउ मच uh in this case it will be zero because this is going to be delivered after two days and uh, how much will be your closing stock it will be zero right it will be zero and uh, quantity for which order placed will be how much uh this is uh, like uh, 2 plus 0 that is again your uh, less than 8 obviously so again you have to put a uh, like uh, uh, put an order for five books understood अगेन यू हैव टू पुट एन ऑर्डर फॉर फाइव बुक्स और ये आपका कब डिलीवर होगा दिस विल बी डिलीवर्ड ऑन दिस डेट राइट आई होप यू आर नॉट गेटिंग कंफ्यूज इन दिस एंड आपका ओपनिंग स्टॉक क्या हो जाएगा यहां पर जीरो एंड डिमांड आपका क्या हो जाएगा यहां पर दैट विल अगेन बी टू एंड यू हैव रिसीव एन ऑर्डर ऑफ फाइव एंड योर डिमांड वॉज टू सो योर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल बी थ्री Closing stock will be what three, and again your closing stock will be the opening stock here, and thirteen. So thirteen falls in the second range. So your demand will be one, and um, this is uh, and here what happens? Opening stock, then opening stock minus uh, your demand three minus one is two plus five that will be seven, right? Seven, and फिर ये क्या हो जाएगा? ये आपका क्लोजिंग स्टॉक सेवन है सो दिस विल बी द ओपनिंग स्टॉक हियर सेवन एंड डिमांड विल बी हाउ मच डिमांड विल बी फॉर थ्री बुक्स दिस इज निल दिस इज लाइक द योर क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल बी हाउ मच सेवन माइनस थ्री दैट विल बी फोर एंड बिकॉज यू हैव योर ओपनिंग स्टॉक प्लस ऑर्डर आउट स्टैंडिंग इज लेस देन एट इन दिस दिस केस सो इट विल बी हाउ मच इट विल बी यू हैव टू अगेन प्लेस एन ऑर्डर फॉर फाइव बुक्स Right or five books? Okay. Now, now uh, tell me to find the total cost. What do we need to calculate? First, we need to calculate the ordering cost. Right. So, how many times have you placed an order? One, two, three, and four. Four into ten. Ten is what? Ten is your ordering uh, cost per one order. Right. So, this is coming as forty. Then you have to calculate the carrying cost. कैरिंग कॉस्ट कितना है आपका योर लाइक कैरिंग कॉस्ट इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव पर बुक पर डे राइट सो फॉर दैट यू नीड टू फाइंड हाउ मेनी बुक्स आर यू कैरिंग फॉर हाउ मेनी डेज सो द टोटल फॉर दिस विल बी फाइव प्लस नाइन प्लस सिक्स प्लस थ्री दिस इज एटीन प्लस फाइव दैट विल बी ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फाइव देन थर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर थर्टी नाइन This will be thirty nine, and if you calculate them, then it will come around nineteen point five. Nineteen point five. So your total cost will be how much? Fifty nine point five zero. 
59.50. You got your total cost for option A as 59.50. Similarly, you can do the same for option number B. Let's uh, see that from the book itself. Right, opening stock plus order quantity should be less than 8. Then you have to place an order of 8. Right, so here you are having a closing stock. Right, so uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In the first 5 days, the number, the closing stock number is same as option A. Right, option A. And you are placing an order in the 4th day, similarly like option A. But the only difference is that here you are placing an order for 8 books. Right, for 8 books. And in the first option, you are placing an order for 5 books. Now, uh, similarly you can do it. It is very uh, like very easy. So, what is the difference? See, uh, in the first option, the, the 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 closing stock amount was thirty nine books, and in the second option, the closing stock amount is forty five books. In the first option, you are placing uh, order for four times. So here, you are placing an order for only two times, right? So that will be the only difference. Let's see how much is the total cost coming as. So your ordering cost will be 2 into 10 that is 20 rupees. Your carrying cost will be 0 0.5 into 45 that will be 22.5 rupees. So your total cost will be 42.5 rupees. So definitely option B is better because it has low inventory cost. Right? I hope I am making this clear in the question. And if you find this video helpful, then please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, The Witty Turtle. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I'm posting some really good content over there. And you can find the link for all the classes and, and my social media handles in the description box below. So don't forget to check them out.